Well, if we thought that about Mortal Kombat, surely we must have loved Street Fighter. <laughs> oh my god. Now, Street Fighter, I don't have any issue telling people that I freaking hate it and it's stupid because most people go, oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone knows Nobody that. gives me a hard time about that one. Mortal Kombat, yes. Yeah, Street Fighter is like, no, I've been there, brother. No, no. I've seen things. <laughs> now, here's the question. I, I have never met anyone that likes Street Fighter. Uh, yeah, but, well, no one that will admit to it. <laughs> but, but watch, all everybody on YouTube you and I'm like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I got married to the movie Street Fighter. <laughs> How dare you? <sighs> <laughs> I'm just imagining M. Bison like, do you take her? <laughs> I lost my virginity while watching Street Fighter. No, nobody did that. No. There's got to be one, dude. I, I don't there's think gotta that's be, there's possible. There's got to be one. The only thing I can think is, like, somebody accidentally rented this movie, put it on a day, and said, this sucks, you want fuck instead? Yes. <laughs> that's where it happens. Still counts. <laughs> Still or counts. it's an alternative. But not to it. They turn it off, and then they do it. All right, so uh -oh. Street Fighter. So but, nobody admits to liking it. But, but here's my question. Much like Mortal Kombat Annihilation, would you rather... No! Would you no! rather... You wouldn't rather watch this than Mortal Kombat. There. See, for me, it's honestly. You know what? Okay, let me do this way. It's they may be tied because they're but they both have the same problem. They're both boring as hell. Okay, but this movie does have one. You were talking about Christopher Lambert. This movie has fucking Raul Julia as M. Bison. Well, not only him, but the Von Dom. <laughs> <laughs> well, Van Damme's just doing his own thing. Just, man. just him trying to. You know, his, that's the thing. Jean-Claude Van Damme has fought so many enemies, but he's never bested English. <laughs> that's, the one, that's the one enemy he's never going to take down. He needs his wake-up call. Uh, <laughs> and bussin', I'm fighting for wild piss. <laughs> Holy wild person, piss. yeah. <laughs> Who pronounces world peace, wild piss. Um, oh. but, but no, Raul Julia in this movie. I mean, I, I pretty much dedicated my own movie to this performance. He is, he is amazing. I he give you is that. Those, so amazing. Those bug eyes of his and those weird poses and... He, he is so amazing, he just came back and turned off our lines and said, thank you! Uh, it's The Room is Haunted by the ghost of Raul Julia. <laughs> uh, no, he is one of those people where even if he's like, if I'm going to suck at a performance or I'm going to be in a bad movie, it is going to be the most amazing bad performance you've ever seen in your life. And he is just beyond entertaining. And he is he's one of those actors where I have to... Every time I see him on screen, I'm like, fuck, I hate that he's dead. Like, this guy just Way had so soon. much more. Not only too soon, but that was his final movie. Yep. Oh, no, and that's why I love at the very end, like, you see, like, after the credits, like, his hand comes out of the rope, and I'm like, you know, I don't, don't think, think that's so. gonna happen. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Wasn't the film dedicated to him? Yeah, it was fucking dedicated! I, I, I gotta admit, that was one of those things where if I had seen the movie, like, and I was working on the film, I'd be like, do you think we can remove the dedication? I'm not sure if he'd want to be remembered for this. <laughs> no, he, he'll be replaced with Tim Curry like the Adams family. <laughs> oh, God. Um, no, okay. See, you know what? You know what I wish? I wish I could take certain parts of Mortal Kombat and certain, but like, take Christopher Lambert from Mortal Kombat and Raul Julia from Street Fighter and like a couple other things and mishmash them together because it's hard to pick which... And then, you're right, Street Fighter does have Raul Julia and it has... Um, Chun Li. <laughs> I just always was a Chun Li fan. Um, see, I thought you would hate it because of that. <laughs> I mean, she, she was pretty, but I mean, she was just like had nothing to do with. Like, yeah, I mean, like, okay, you know how we. I'm were reporter Chun. <laughs> She's Lee a reporter O'Neill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I. God, yeah, that made no sense. Zangief was a no little Chun Li. Too, Chun Li was really useless. Was. Uh, but uh, here's the thing: all the characters were useless. Mm -hmm. I guess Mortal Kombat treated the, I will say this, Mortal Kombat treated the characters with more respect, which I legitimately like, except for Johnny Cage, who was stupid. Uh, but Johnny Cage, okay, and Sonya, who completely is useless at the end. So, so Sonya got stupid. I yeah, mean, she started stupid, off kind of cool, like, let's see what she's going to go, and yeah. Kano's kind of stupid. Okay, it treated half the characters with respect. Mm -hmm. I can't think of a single character in Street Fighter that I thought was treated with Respect. <laughs> Respect yeah, is not the word. Pretty much Even Raul right. Julia, who is so amazing, it's amazing because he's being so goofy. Yeah, I mean, um, he just clearly is, I'm gonna do whatever I want, I'm Raul Julia! Yeah, the, the desperation in trying to fit all these characters in, it's like, it, 
it's it like turns into rat race at the end. It's like twenty characters that they've somehow yeah. shoehorned in to this climax. Like it just I just feel like oh god, any screenwriter could have just done better. You know what it felt like? It, it felt it was like a so homework assignment. Write a Street Fighter movie. Get every, every single character, character in, in there, there. Give them all a line at least. And all some yeah. sort of like, if you can, a character arc. You know, because even characters are like, DJ has a character arc, kind of. Man, you're right about the lights. <laughs> I told you. I'm going to turn up the exposure for you. This is, this is, uh, this is what happens when we pick on Raul Julia. Uh, I glasses. guess so. No, he was saying ahead of no, time, like, you know. Yeah, everybody. That should be good. Everybody had a character arc. None of them were good. Yeah. They were so desperate in the way, like, was it, who was the green guy, Blanca? Yeah. Yeah, like the in uh, Blanca and uh, Dalsim. Like I Dalsim even figured out what? that was Dalsim, but they didn't tell me. Like, yeah, no. At the very end, somehow, like he's. I have decided. i yeah. My my clothes have burned off, and I'm bald now. And I'm like, I have decided now that I'm going to become a yogi or something with Blanca. Yeah, like, like where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> if if you had no the idea, ro the romance between Black Widow and Hulk. <laughs> like, had more setup than that, and that came out of nowhere in Avengers 2. And so. actually, they're very similar, the more I think about it is, yeah. you know. <laughs> We've decided we're in love. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it, I, I don't know, it just was dull. That's my yeah. biggest problem with the movie. Outside of Raul Julia, who's having a good time, everybody else, just dull. You know, I, I'm wondering what, like, you know, I, no, Zangief, the guy playing Zangief, oh, yeah, is, I mean, he was just like, you know, we're the bad guys. <laughs> he's just so one note. He's so delightfully one note, and he's just clearly playing. Well, and the whole thing close. behind Shadaloo, like, I'm just like, really, Zangief and DJ, these are your minions? <laughs> yeah, no, I love hearing this <laughs> incredibly can't. powerful advice and go, DJ, DJ. <laughs> Play me some tunes! <laughs> you know, Get if, the dubstep going! If nobody knew, if you went in not knowing that Street Fighter was a game and knew nothing about it, can you imagine the reaction on somebody watching this? Actually, like, what I, the fuck is going on? Know, if I didn't know Street Fighter was a game, that may actually make it better. Because <laughs> <laughs> I may just be like, what the hell is this? Yeah, this is a total mental yeah, breakdown. Um, I think the guy like who wrote Die Hard, like wrote and directed this movie, which is just like... Okay, well let's, okay, let's be honest here. There's some problems to begin with, which is you can't shoehorn that many characters in. You can't keep them in those costumes and really take it that seriously. And I'm sure the studio was giving notes left and right. I'm sure that script went through a ton of... I was going to say that. I refuse to believe that the guy who directed Die Hard and or wrote well, the script... Wrote it. Uh, yeah, the guy who wrote the script for Die Hard, I refuse to believe that that was the His vision. He, yeah, I refuse to believe that was the vision he was proud of. <laughs> like, somebody tampered with it, or he just got stuck in a rut, and he's just like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing anymore. Like, I've got all these char colorful characters running, he's like, uh, all right, I'll do this. I'm not proud, but it's a paycheck. Like, yeah, at some point, he just, like, you know, he's just doing this, and, like, either so many things are going wrong, or so many changes are being made, it's so obvious control, he just or, puts out the Napoleon hand and goes, <laughs> <laughs> or, or maybe like Raul Julia, maybe he had kids and did it for his kids and thought he was making a decent kids movie. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's normally, a lot of things get set up for failure when you have to say the words, I did it for my kids. <laughs> yeah. um, a lot of Robert Rodriguez movies. Yeah. <laughs> well, same thing, Lost in Space. I remember hearing the uh, commentary for that and he was talking about how he wanted to make a movie about fathers and sons and bring families together and make a movie for kids and this and that. And that meant something and I'm like, dude, like... Sorry about your relationship with your father, and like more power to you. But this movie blows, yeah. <laughs> like, and that's always the case. Like I want to do something for my kids. It's like I think the only time I saw something where somebody's like I wanted to make a kids movie recently that I thought it really worked out was um, freaking Hugo. I was gonna say Martin Hugo, Scorsese, probably, right? the guy who did Goodfellas, yeah. made a better kids movie than F. You know, but <laughs> so, so these people who like you know want to do a film for their kids. Yeah. I don't know. I I I'm not sure what the hell to even say about Street Fighter. Like it. It's such a goofy, stupid, I mean, it's... Whose dumbass idea was it to have Guile being the main character? Mm -hmm. Cause... Well, to have Jacques Clement. Yeah. Well, who, who ever even picked him? Like, when you I play the know, game... Some Kumu. No, uh... no, he's a character that was so bad that I think they actually jerry-rigged some of his moves to be, like, slightly more powerful than other characters. That's why we to balance them. it out. <laughs> who, what? Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! Fuck that guy. <laughs> but, uh, no, did not have, but he had a great theme. It goes with everything. 
This movie would have been a lot better if they put his theme <laughs> in there. It, okay, um, I give you that. Once again, like Mortal Kombat, great soundtrack. <laughs> you know, I will say that the one thing I really enjoy, and this is just... And, like, so everything around M. Bison in terms of, like, the guy playing him, his outfit, I legitimately love that outfit. Uh, it is it's so, so silly. It's so silly, but it's also, it still has this, you it's very authoritative. You, you in, in the M. Bison outfit still wasn't quite as silly as Raul Julia. Because <laughs> Raul Julia commanded respect <laughs> as an actor. Um... No, it's one of those things where no, no. Can you imagine? Can you imagine putting Orson Welles in an actual Optimus Prime, like or a Transformers outfit? Like, or can, can you imagine that? Like, that is the equivalent of what they did with Raul Julia. That's why it's so amazing. But it's not just that. It's his little desk that flies around. It's all the TV set up, and which nowadays looks like really cheap and low budget. But back then, it was kind of like. This is a pretty kick-ass evil lair. Like, I fucking want this evil lair. Everything's metallic doors open up. It's like a jail. The hostages on. will die. Hello, how are you doing down there? <laughs> and you okay? will be blamed in the bison high or whatever our signal is. <laughs> um, I still can't believe, of course, caught on. <laughs> I'm just thinking of that dumb running joke I had. Everyone's like, you know, of course, I fucking love that. And it's like, I'm just wondering if, like, when he Certain shot... Certain memes, we have no idea how... Yeah, because that's... I mean, I did drive it into the ground, don't get me wrong. You did, but, but still, but... people, like, occasionally at cons will come up to Doug and be like, of course! Yeah, I mean, like, they'll uh, Q&A and stuff. I'm we just... had no idea when we wrote it. No, like, no, I, no, that, I, no honestly, that. I'm just wondering if, like, anyone, like, when they shot that scene of just him turning and saying, of course! Uh, you know, I mean, just a little... Whatever scene suddenly is like this big internet meme of like decades you know, later would like yeah. yeah be all over the internet <laughs> and, and, and it's so yeah, no when you type in like you know of course or and bison like that's the one the first thing those two always connect on Google uh, or especially yes! on images we did it <laughs> I guess <laughs> we weren't even trying <laughs> but you're welcome Ralph Julia <laughs> your name your good name has been preserved <laughs> oh we're terrible people. I, uh, um, yeah, no, I guess my problem is all of the characters I ended up picking, like, you had Vega, you had Blanca, you had Chun-Li, you had Honda, uh, uh, Ryu, um, no one, like, they all end up kind of like side characters in this movie. I'm like, why are you giving the main characters, like, to stupid people? Yeah, you know, nobody really wanted to see. people, yeah, um... Bison was the only one that I'm just like, okay, I could watch him all day, but certainly not Guile. Cammy? Like, really? They put Cammy in this movie? Well, like, Chun Li at least, it's like, okay, that'd be an interesting main character. You know, but Thunder, they fucking. Thunder, Thunder Thighs is amazing. But... Don't you dare diss Chun Li in my presence. No, no, that's what I'm saying. She would be a good main character, and then they just, like I said, I don't care the O'Neill. Even if you want to, even if you want to do some revenge story with Chun Li. I would have been fine with that if they just focused more on that instead of all the other... Like, I didn't freaking need Guile. And of course, they did try to do a movie with Chun-Li. How about fucking Ken and Ryu? How epic a story could you make? And they're just like, you know, no, we're just like kind of scam artists. Boys, boys, and boys, maybe you uh, want to be the good guys? I don't know. Come on, it's starting to feel like the bad guys here, bra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, it was like no, a funny, funny suck. comedy. Um, <laughs> And they're like the main kid. The pretty much that is Street Fighter. When when I think of Street Fighter, I tend to think like M Bison, Ken, uh, Ryu, and um, to Chun Li. Really, yeah, like I, I tend good. to think that. And then I start going to Blanca, and you know, occasionally like Vega and like some of the villains. But yeah, like I don't think Guile and Cammy. I just. You know, I just realized, uh, Chun Li in this movie, am I wrong? Like, she builds up, she really wants this revenge. Honestly, probably more than even Gao Gao's just like, he's a butt and I hate him. <laughs> you know, but Chun Li has a legitimate reason to want to get revenge on this guy. But and I hate him and his wicked cut. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, does she ever get, like, anything fulfilled or anything satisfying in terms of her revenge? Know. It's like, they nice found, they found the, they it's found like, that's the it. laziest ass excuse to put her in the outfit, so. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not complaining. <laughs> <laughs> just not, you know what, because at least I got that. There was nothing else in the movie. So. But, like, yeah, I'm trying to think. I'm like, like, wow, this pretext is really beyond fucking flimsy, but I'll allow it. 
Like, I think Guile had something where it's like, he's a terrorist and he, whatever, killed my buddies, or he has oh, Blanca, whatever. I'm gonna get blind, or whatever, but it's like, she has much more reason to be pissed off at this guy, she has much more of a story, they at least explain much more of a story, and I'm thinking, like, does she ever have, like, a battle or a fight or anything with them, Bison? Like, okay, that's, really. a, that's my problem with the movie, and I, okay, I will give Mortal Kombat this. I'm not even going to tell give it that, because for a movie called Mortal Kombat, they weren't so big on the mortal part. Most of them seem to survive. <laughs> um, but I will give at least this, that there is combating going on. Yes. For something called Street Fighter, there is I, don't, no street I fighting. don't remember any street fighting. Like, anywhere? <laughs> Fucking anywhere? Like the intro to the game, at least, had two dudes doing it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> like, How hard is it to have a street and have two people fight on it? Come on! <laughs> this that, is not rocket that, science! That writes itself. That's like every Jackie Chan movie ever made. Come like, on! Didn't he do a movie called Street Fighter? <laughs> I don't think it had anything to do with the game, but anyway. I... Yes, he did! No, he did! You'll tell us. Um, but yeah, anything else we want to say? I do love Change the Channel. I thought that was. A, I do love Tuesday. I, I love I like. Ones. I like the fake money. Like, there's a few funny things in it. I just. It's just so silly. How can you not giggle? It just didn't need, it didn't know who, I don't think it knew who it was aimed, even more so Mortal Kombat, I don't think it knew who it was aimed for. Mm. It's like, is this aimed at teenagers, adults who want an action movie, or... Little kids. I or mean, little kids, and I mean little like kids. little kids, yeah, yeah. it feels like a movie aimed, like, at seven years old. <laughs> but, but it's, it's like PG-13, right? It's not PG. I guess, I'm pretty I sure. Know, I don't know why it would be PG-13. I can't think I'm of sure it. they throw in like a sex rap. You know, it's like Batman Robin. Like clearly it's for kids, but you throw in like, I'll grab your rock. Okay, okay and, 13. This is, and this is what bothers me about a lot of PG-13 movies, particularly in that era, was PG-13 was a trick to get teenagers about our age, between the ages of 12 to 18, into thinking this movie was going to be a little more yeah. badass than it was. And that's what Mortal Kombat did. You know, actually, Mortal Kombat was worse because that should have been just a hard R. Now it seems to be PG. You know, that's the new like. But sort of yeah, PG but 13. like PG thirteen in that era did a lot of that, where it's like, well, we'll throw in a reference here or there. It's PG thirteen, eighteen, and then you watch being a little like, naughty. You like, like being a little naughty. Yeah, and then you're like, this is a PG film. Yeah, just like, with like two references that are usually groaners. You know, and we came out of the 80s where PG-13 was practically a hard R. Yeah. Where PG, the old PG, was pretty much what PG Yeah, Roger Rabbit was now. fucking PG, and that's like, ooh, you're sort of on the board. <laughs> nice booby trap. Yeah, I mean, just her fucking design, I'm like, I don't know. I mean, okay, you need a parent in the room, I guess, but... I'm not I don't know. I'm just drawn that way. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, that bothered me about Street Fighter because you, if you label something PG-13, if it was, was it PG-13? I'm almost positive it was. Yeah, if you label that, then it shouldn't feel like a PG movie. Yeah. Um, That's all I'm saying. You know, it, of course. If I were both upset about these, this and Mortal Kombat being PG-13, but for entirely, entirely different, different reasons. reasons. Yeah. Street Fighter was PG-13 and it should have been PG. Mortal Kombat was PG-13, but that needed to be a hard R. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's, uh... Video game movies still mostly suck. Yeah. Uh, at least they're not quite Street Fighter bad. I'll, I'll, at least I don't think uh, so. Street Fighter is pretty bottom of the barrel. Yeah, I mean, but but it is... Mortal it is Kombat, kind of I give Mortal Kombat, Kombat this much, it made the attempt. Yeah, Street Fighter there was didn't even much make more the attempt. Put into that Street Fighter is just like, and I'm not even saying lack of effort, just lack of trying to take itself as a serious product. Yeah, it clearly is so. not doing that. Which, not that it's easy to do, but it's you know they've done like animes yeah. and stuff like that. They've done okay. They just embrace it. If fucking Marvel's Avengers and all these goofy movies can take themselves this seriously and be really good, a Street Fighter can. You know, I love to see, like, a video game movie that's given kind of, like, the Marvel treatment, where they just fucking embrace it, like, the changes are clever, smart changes. Um, but not yet. We'll, we'll still have to wait and see. Uh, we'll have to wait on our Zelda movie. So, and more Raul Julia, less muscles from Brussels. Sounds good to me. Wicked cut. Of course!